He doesn't know that he's different. He doesn't know he has a disability. He's a normal dog. He just, just looks a little goofy. Brody's a spunky uh, one-year-old German Shepherd Border Collie cross. He's just the friendliest dog. He's, uh, he's got a really good demeanor. He doesn't, he's got no aggression or anything. He was born January 14th of last year at the shelter that he came from. And his mom was a stray and she was really young. She was about 10 months old, so not really an age to be having puppies, stressed out in a rescue shelter. Um, and they think that could also be why maybe she did what she did. She bit him. So they didn't actually see it happen. Um, they just kind of heard the yelp and then came running. The vet, they thought it was just maybe like superficial wounds. Um, but actually when he started to get bigger and his bones started to grow more, that's when things started to really get a little deformed. The x-rays show that his skull, like he had cranial deformities. To get anything fixed, he'd need facial reconstructive surgery. And I don't really think he even needs that because he eats fine, he drinks fine. He looks a little nervous. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> and then these were the photos that they had posted when they were advertising for his adoption. So this is kind of what made me fall in love with him. I couldn't get over how cute he was and I felt so bad and I literally looked at the picture and would cry and just be like, we have to go meet this dog. And Brad didn't want a dog, but then... But then I met him. Yeah. I spent an hour with him. I had to take him home. He needs a little extra help with things. Um, he's blind in one eye, so we have to give him an eye drop. Uh, he's, he has a pretty hard time eating bigger sized kibble or big treats. We kind of have to watch him because he can easily choke. He is just like a regular dog. Like He doesn't look like it, but his personality is totally that of any dog. He just wants to play and eat and do dog stuff. The disability doesn't slow him down in any no. way. No. His yeah. favorite place to be is the, the dog park. And he really likes little tennis balls, but they sometimes get stuck in his mouth. <laughs> This is where this is where his happiness is. He can't sit still, but then at the end of the day, he kind of calms down. Sometimes uh, I'll have a rough day at work, or and we'll just kind of look in the rearview mirror, and Brody's just always got this kind of goofy look <laughs> to him. He kind of reminds me of the the hyena from The Lion King, Ed. Like, yeah, Ed. But he definitely looks like a, a little Picasso masterpiece. On his original post on the Kennel's Facebook page. They, people that were looking at his pictures and saying, oh, I hope somebody adopts him. And then they would come back and say, oh, whoever adopted him, I hope they start an Instagram so we can follow his life. So I saw so many of those comments. So that's why I decided to start it. But I only thought it was gonna be people from around here, just locals, but yeah, it kind of exploded. Now it's all over the world. Somebody even got a tattoo of him. There have been a few people that have kind of given him weird looks too and are just kind of like, ooh. But most people are really empathetic. We were hoping one day to have him be a therapy dog. Um, we just gotta do a little bit more training. He has to calm down a bit because he's still so young and excited. We'd like to like go to the Stollery Kids Hospital um, or, or senior homes. Everybody on Instagram always says, like, I've had a bad day, he makes me feel better. We even have people with disabilities and people who have um, cranial disabilities the same as his. That be like, you know, I love seeing him. He's super playful. He's just a sweetheart. He doesn't know that he's different. He doesn't know he has a disability. 